Welcome to Production Expert, my name is Dan Cooper. In this free four-part series, I show you the basics of Wave's CLA Mix Hub, a plugin which provides an in-the-box analog console workflow based on Crystal Lord Algae's own SSL board. In the previous episodes, I showed you how to set this up, how to get working with buckets, how the input section sounded, if you adjusted the line and mic pre's, working with filters and EQ. In this final episode, I'm going to show you the powerful dynamics in Wave's CLA Mix Hub, and I'm going to continue working in the bucket view. Of course, you can always work in channel view. Personally, I prefer this view. It means I can work a lot quicker. Now, I'm going to stay over here on the drum bucket, which has overheads, kick, snare, tom, and drum bus. I've got compressors at the top here. Default, these are the onboard compressors, but we can switch this to CLA's Bluey 1176 compressor. Beneath that, we've got gates, expander, and a parallel blend control there as well. Let's start with the tom tom in this. Just put it in isolation there. You can hear the drum head resonating there whilst the rest of the kit is playing. And just heard the tom there, but I'd like to gate this resonance out. And it's very simple to do using the range and threshold control. Let's just dial a bit of this in. Let's have a listen. Here, the snare's catching it. So let's put the threshold up a bit higher. Now that sounds nice. You may be wondering why I'm not stripping out all of that resonance. Well, I find if you do that, sometimes the drums can sound a little bit too clinical. It's nice to have some of that natural resonance still in there, just not too much. So the range control here lets us choose how much of that you want left in. Now let's move across to the other parts of the kit. And I'm going to start with the snare drum and some compression. Got those soft feet, the kind of dance on hot, hot sand. Yo, the earth is just rolling. Hear that already taking effects between her toes. See the meters down here. No, no. The smooth, the smooth ankles. It's nice, but we can always switch over to the 1176 style compressor. Baby, let me pass through. I wanna come over. Hey, it's nice. Now, what? Let's try that also on the kick. We can expand the view as well if we wish. Well shaped legs. A parallel picture. I have to paint clearly. Pale that sounds nice. Now let's move over to the drum bus. It doesn't matter. She is still a Just apply a little bit of glue. Oh, she needs to be a man. So I said. Yeah, now the 1176 is a little bit too much for bus compression. Let's back it off slightly. That sounds nice, that sounds nice. Let's move across to the bass guitar, help that out a little bit. Again, 1176 Bluey. Sounds nice, let's go back around again. Something like that. We can help out those guitars ever so slightly. And the vocal. The smooth, the smooth ankles. Ah, a blessed bridge for one to cross over. Not too much, just ever so slightly. Squeeze these dynamics in a bit. That's sounding nice. I think we've got to balance this a little bit over here on the output. That kick feels a bit much. Well, well shaped. Bring the vocal up a touch. A parallel picture, I have to paint clearly. Yeah, that sounds great to me. Nice and simple. It's a nice safe mix, but it's all there and it will be heard. Anyway, hope you guys got something from this series of videos showing you how to use Waves CLA Mix Hub. 
As always, thanks for watching, guys. See you again soon. So I said, yeah.